Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm going to be talking about my July favorites. Thank you for your patience on my last video. I've got the problem solved, and I hope it never happens to me again. I'm gonna start with my first favorite, and this is in no specific order. It's just kind of like what I thought about as the month progressed, I would write down things. Well, a couple of months ago, I bought some wired earbuds. You know, I have the Apple wireless, I have the iFrogs, and you can find really good deals on these. And I don't know if I can find them, but I'm gonna type the name in. They're every bit as good as my Apple, and these were like well over $100. So I like them, but, they, but sometimes when I'm gonna be at the computer for a while, I want just wired earbuds. I, I use my MacBook, I ordered these, and these are supposed to be, they don't tangle, but what I like about them, they are metal. I have stepped on them and they haven't caused me any problems. They came with a usable case and an assortment of earbuds. I can use this on my MacBook and on Jim's HP and they're just the nicest I've ever owned and I've owned a ton of earbuds and I think these were around $15. I really do like what I'm putting up next but I think they are incredibly expensive if you don't have a sale or something to take off of them. And I ordered these from the Nordstrom sale and they're the Nest Candles. And I have heard so many things about them. They're $51. I think they were on sale for like $34 and I had a $10 note and here they are. After they're burned, I will use the little glass because a lot of times Jim just wants a little sip and these would be perfect. But what I want to tell you, I want to tell you something about them. There are three scents. One of them is bamboo, one is pineapple, and the other is, I think, ocean mist and sea salt. What I did, this bedroom that I'm in right now, it's probably about a little over 15 feet wide and about 22 feet long. So it's a big room. So I came in and So I took one out of the container and I put it in here in my bedroom. I lit it, I set my timer for one hour, shut the door and went to the living room. And the first one I did was grapefruit. And when I opened the door, I could smell the scent. It smelled lovely, but it dissipated very, very quickly. You know, I turned it, I blew out the candle, I left, I shut the door, and when I came back, I couldn't smell anything. Well, the bamboo, of course, I did the same on all three of them. The bamboo, I could smell it in the living room. It, with the door shut, I came in, blew it out, it smelled wonderful, and it, the scent stayed for days without relighting it. And the same thing with the ocean mist and sea salt. So I would buy these, what I really kind of wanted to know, sometimes you want to give somebody a special gift and I didn't know if they were worth the hype. Well, two out of the three are worth the hype, but not worth their retail price. So I'll keep my eyes open for, for something from Nest and I, of course I'll also know what kind of scents I like. Okay, the next thing I bought that I really like and I've been using them for a couple of months and they are the microfiber bath towels. This is the size of the towel I normally use. And this is bigger than this. And I'll put, I believe this is 33 by 63. And I think this is 32 by 71. But I love them. I will never buy uh, big towels again. I bought two of them. Uh, the brand, I, I'm sure it doesn't matter what brand. I ordered them from Amazon. This is Mar Wings, Mars Wings. But they're so lightweight, but they're so absorbent. You wash them in the washer. You don't use any downy or anything. And they just come out so nice and they dry so quickly. So I'm sure some of these towels will be stuck in some of the Christmas gifts. But I really, really like them. I don't know how long they'll last, but we'll see. I was watching the channel, The Baking Diva, and her name is Dolores. And she is the only like cooking show that I'm subscribed to. And I just really like her a lot. And of course, I'll list her uh, channel below. She did a re review on oven mitts. And she really liked them. And I thought I'd give them a try. And this was months ago. Here they are. And I will put the link to them down below. I think they were $9.99 for two of them. 
I've washed them several times. I haven't put them in the dryer, but I just hung them up and they've done fine. They have silicone on one side and not on the other. And I'll tell you what I liked about them. A couple of things. There's like a little, it's sewn down right here. You can grab and it covers my wrist. I have a ton of hot pads, oven mitts. And some of them that are silicone, they have a little hole that you hang them on, or the ones that are like the gloves, they're a little slick. So I wanted something that would grip on and work, and these really do. I don't know if they're still in stock. I received a product from Timeless, and this is the very first product that they've ever sent me that I have kept. And what's kind of funny, one time years and years and years ago, I've used Timeless skincare for seven years, and probably after I'd been using it for a year, I made the statement on a video. I said, Timeless Skincare hasn't set, ever sent me anything. And, you know, I just kind of like to buy my own skincare. Well, apparently, some people wrote Timeless Skincare and they said, There's this person that does videos that loves your skincare and you should send her some. And I got an email from the owner of the company and she was just so upset. And, and I explained to her, what had happened. And anyway, she called me and I told her what had happened. But that's how I kind of made my acquaintance with them after I'd been using their skincare products for some time. They came out with something new and it is the 10% vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid and it is in the airless pump. I could never use the 20% on my neck. I've tried many times. You've heard me say I can't use it on my neck. So I went ahead and kept this because I thought, well, I don't want to send it to somebody else, you know, because I needed to try it and it is working really well. I don't know if I'll ever be able to use the 20% on my neck, but I tell you, I can use Retin-A on my neck and I can use Kakai oil. I use those both at night, but the vitamin C just burns me. So somebody that's new to vitamin C, this may be a good one for you. I have a $5 off coupon code or link or something. The half an ounce sells, I think for $16.95, it would qualify for that $5 off. And, and I think the big one is $25. But I just wanted to let you know that they do have that. And something else I didn't mention that I ordered from the Nordstrom sale, and I will put the video up here or below. I bought last year, I splurged and I bought myself a blanket that was the most luxurious blanket I've ever had. It was a weighted blanket. It just felt wonderful. And I knew I was gonna buy some for gifts for Christmas. And it was 33% off during the Nordstrom sale. So I was thrilled to get those. But something that I noticed, I have a Nordstrom credit card. I never use it. The only time I use it is if I buy anything from the sale. And I always pay my credits, credit cards off as soon as I get them. Because one time when my kids were still in high school, I had a lot of credit card debt and I swore to myself that I would always pay it off. And I'm glad because their interest is anywhere between like 11.9% and 23%. So that is a lot of interest. And if you buy something on sale and it takes some time to pay it off, you're really not saving anything. So I just thought I'd mention that. You know, I think I have the best subscribers ever and I get the best suggestions. Well, for years, I'm going to talk about eyeglasses, readers. I wear a contact sometime, but not all of the time. And especially since I'm not in and out of the house a lot, I wear dailies and, and I just think, why well, kind of waste it? But anyway, the readers I used to buy, I bought from the Dollar Tree. In fact, in my car, I have a pair that has one of the lenses missing because anytime I would go into a Dollar Tree, I would see if they have this certain brand. My nose was broken when I was younger, and I think it really makes it more sensitive. But they had a pair that I probably at one time had purchased 20 pairs. I had them everywhere, and they were super comfortable. They quit making them. Long time ago, Firmu, F-I-R-M-O-O, -O, wanted to send me some prescription glasses using my prescription, and I, I ordered them. It was probably six years ago, and I really, really did like them. So I decided on my own to order some readers from them. And they were uh, the blue light blocking. And these are the only pair that are comfortable on me for even four hours. And this is what they look like. I don't really care what they look like, but they're comfortable. I never get eye strain. I never get a headache. So I know they work for me with the blue blocking. 
A few months ago, my friend Kathy from the channel, Kathy's Beauty Care Chats, and I can't wait till she gets back on making videos. I think it's gonna be pretty soon. She shared the cutest classes that were readers that were, I thought, I mean, I think they were like five pair for $15.95, and I'll put these on. And they have, you know, the kind that won't, that will stretch and will go back to pl in place. I love the style of them. They are, I think, th they're like, to me, my perfect glasses. But I can only wear them for about an hour to two hours maximum. So sometimes when I'm editing my video, when I'm watching video, when I'm checking my emails, I'm at a computer longer than that. But I really like them. I will use them. I have some at my bedside, some in the bathroom, in the kitchen. And I, I've, I've given quite a few pairs away to friends and family. But I love these. I don't think you can beat them. So these were the first pair I ordered several months ago. These were suggested by one of my viewers. And I ordered them. They came in this little case. I think these were four pairs for $19.95. And they're... Again, they are made very, very well. And they all have the blue blocking ability. They have the same type of stretch. I like the way they look. They're comfortable for some time, but then, then they start hurting my nose. So I guess you're gonna know there's a pair that I found that I can wear all day if I need to. And I'll show those to you. Tammy, who is a friend and a subscriber of mine. In fact, I think she found me about three years ago and she is probably one of the very few people that went back and started watching my videos from the very beginning. And she watched everyone and she would leave comments. And every time, I just, I can't believe she's still watching me. I'm sure, I'm, I'm tired of me. I'm, I thought she would be by now. She sent me a suggestion and she said she loved them and I ordered them. And it came in a pack of four and it has its own little sturdy case they're made of lightweight plastic, and they are so comfortable, and I'll show them to you. There's absolutely no frame. It is all clear, it's all clear plastic, and I can wear them down on my nose. I can wear them up here, and I can wear them all day long. So, I thank you so much, Tammy. I really had a hard time finding some glasses that will accommodate my broken nose. And I had a ton of other suggestions that I have saved in case I need more glasses at some point. I do appreciate your suggestions. Well, the next one is a favorite for how it works, but it may be because it may become one of my unfavorites. Jim has not wanted to go get his hair cut, and he keeps saying, "You can cut my hair. You can cut my hair." Well, he has a head full of hair. I've done it before, but I've just like kind of trimmed it up just with scissors. And he said, "Well, I want some of those that they show that you can just go all over your head." And anyway. I looked those up and it wasn't gonna work. Well, I found a pair for $30 and here they are. I watched videos on how to use them. They have a variety of the length you need. So I did a real good job. <laughs> what I put on the longest one and I went all the way up, just like they said on the videos. But I kind of, when I got to the top, I kind of went like this. Then I trimmed the top of it. And he likes it so well, he wants me to continue doing his hair. And I will do it. But I don't really enjoy it. But this made it a lot easier. I can also take it off and clean up around, you know, the neck. And I like it that they're rechargeable. So this is a favorite because they worked. They were $30 at two haircuts and they've paid for themselves. So uh, if I can do it, anybody can. I had been hearing a lot of people talk about Function of Beauty shampoo. So I went to their website and I found the starter kit for $29 and I really wanted to try it. I do like it, I, but I do I did read that Target has it now and there it's it's less expensive. You can add different boosters to get it to do what it wants to what you want to do for your hair, but I filled out a survey and I said what I wanted from a shampoo and they formulated it and I have used it uh, four times. It takes about three pumps to wash my hair and I've been using two pumps of this and I love the way it smells. I'm somebody who wants their shampoos to smell good. If I ever become sensitive to a uh, sense then I'll quit then but I, I just I like to shake my head and smell it. So I'll let you know later on 
what I think of this, but I think my hair has done really well. It has looked really good without much effort whatsoever. And to me, this is, this is, you know, easy. And I'm gonna check out the prices on Target and what little boosters you can have, whether you want your hair to be strengthened or shiny. There's just a lot of information out there on it. Sometimes I f forget to put what makeup I'm wearing below the video, and if I remember it, I, I do. But I have had a lot of questions on the last few videos I did. I used the uh, Purito Circa Cleansing, I don't know, Circa Clearing CC Cream, and I didn't powder over it. I had some people, I never powder over my foundation, or I never use a setting spray. Today I'm wearing the Celebration Foundation, and I picked up the Illumination out of my drawer. I don't usually use that, but that's what I'm using today. And it's in light and I just put a light amount on my face, and then I took a small brush and just put it here and covered my circles. I don't have any eyeshadow. I just have my mascara and anyway, but I've had a lot of questions about what foundation I was wearing. But I, t I like them. I've got some other ones I'll talk about when I do my makeup favorites, but that powder has just been so easy for me and, and I like it. I have kept off the 23 pounds I lost, but I started that, I think, on March 5th of 2020, and I have not lost any more, but that is fine with me. When it's important for me to maintain my weight, just to maintain, I weigh several times a week, and I've kept it off, and I bet my eating hasn't been as good. And I thought, what can I do for the month of August, for the month of September, to make myself feel as good as I can, and I'm just kind of cleaning up what I'm eating. I would say 85 to 90% of the food I eat is whole food, and about 10% is not whole. But it's, I try for it to be healthy. I did want to mention, I had talked about the Elevation Indulgent Bars, and here they are, and they're delicious. And they, they are low carb, but they only have five grams of protein. So this is a low carb snack for me, but on the Built Bars, they have 17 and 18 grams of protein and they taste like a candy bar. They sent me some Rocky Road. And the reason they sent me some is several people, several of you have used my link and then I get to try the goodies. They, they did send another edible goodie that was just very average, but the Rocky Road bar is delicious and it tasted just like a candy bar and I didn't even save one to show you. I don't know if it's going to be a part of their permanent line. Like I said, I think they try different things. If they go over well, they come back and I just couldn't be happier that I have something that I enjoy that tastes good and it doesn't make me crave anything else. I haven't been watching as much TV. I do have some things I've been enjoying, but what I have done, I have gone through every one of my drawers. I have been donating so many things, anything that is like family, things that I think my children would be interested in. I am packaging those up and writing on, writing what it is. I have a lot of beautiful antique linens that, that are family linens, and they may not be precious to my children when I'm gone, but at least they'll know if they're, uh, what they are, and I've kind of separated what could be valuable and, and whatnot. So I've really spent a lot of time going through things, going through boxes. And I wanted to tell you something that I think is funny and I, I'm working to open it up. I have a box, I moved into this home 30 years ago and I do have one box that I have written on it, open later. Well, I have never opened it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what is in there. The shows that I have watched that I have enjoyed that you all recommended to me was The Repair Shop. I think it is on Netflix. Oh, it, it's amazing. Artisans, crafts, craftsmen, people bring things that they love that are lit near and dear to them, and these people restore it and make it beautiful again. In fact, I have a Battenberg lace tablecloth that was my mater my paternal grandmother's that was made about 1905. What I wouldn't love for somebody to get a hold of that. And any anyway, it I, I really enjoyed it. 
I enjoyed Hometown. It was on dis it's on Discovery. The nicest couple from Laurel, Mississippi. They go in and restore homes and you can just tell they love what they're doing. My happy channel that I watch is also on Discovery and it is the Lottery Dream Home. And what I love about it, there are so many people that would not ever have been able to purchase a home if they hadn't won the lottery. And there's so, there, and so many people are so humble. They may win a million dollars and they might wanna spend 100,000 for a home. Well, in some towns, you can get a really, really nice home for 100,000. Anyway, if I like the couple, I love the show. If they're a little bit snooty, I just delete it because I, I record everything on my DVR that I'm gonna watch. One that I have that you all have recommended is Yellowstone. So I've watched the first episode of that. So anyway, that's what I've been enjoying on television. And if you're still here, this is gonna be a giveaway. And as always, my giveaways are international. And since this is a giveaway, I can't reply to the comments underneath this video. But if you have any questions, go to any previously uploaded video, even if it says I can't reply, I can. It's just on current giveaways. And what I wanna give away today are three $50 e-gift cards to Amazon or any place that I can get one or a deposit to your PayPal. Venmo's kind of been giving me trouble, so I, 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 I would try it, but I'd prefer PayPal or an e-gift card. And all you have to do, in a sentence below, use the word TV. What I would like to know is what your favorite TV show is, or if you don't watch television, just say, I don't watch TV. So just as long as the T and the V are in a comment, those will be downloaded, and I will narrow the search down to anybody that says TV, unless you say you don't want to be entered. But anyway, it is all good. I, I appreciate your support. I do. I thank you for hanging in there with me. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Ear. Sometimes I'm bored with myself. I can use this on my... Um, and I'm thinking... You don't use any detergent. I think they were 9.90 and